Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rule Breakers 2 is here today, and based off of that loading screen and the leaks that we have, it is gonna be a very exciting day with new cards coming into FIFA 23. I wanna take a look at how these new cards and these leaks and the potential content for today is going to affect the market and the game in general. We'll talk about panic selling. We'll talk about the leaked cards, of course, what to expect today with supply in terms of packs that could be added to the store, that 50K pack plus, right? That gives out a free pack inside of the 50K pack. Those are in the code. Again, we'll talk about that. And of course, talk about everything else related to the market today. We actually have our first road to the knockout upgrade. Odegaard's gonna get a plus one at some point today per the EA website. And we have to talk about player of the month, Messi, everything that's going on with SBC fodder, because I think there is a big opportunity to potentially invest in fodder if it gets low this weekend because of that 87 rated max hero SBC that's now in the code. So we're gonna take a look at all that and more. There's a lot to cover today. So if you're excited for the video, it helps out the channel big time if you smack a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about these cards we're expecting to see today. And we can't forget about the earliest leak. We've seen some of these cards already, but don't forget that the headliner of the team today, in my opinion, is Franck Ribéry. This was leaked last week, not dropped in team number one, but that Ribéry is expected to headline the promo today. Now, a lot of other leaks have dropped. Marino, Sissoko, Havertz, Thiago, Smith-Rowe. We have seen those. Lacroix is a brand new leak. There's a lot of center backs dropping today, and there's also a lot of midfielders, right? Lacroix, Havertz, Smith-Rowe, Marino, Sissoko, and then center back starts here with Lacroix. We'll talk about Becker in a second. We also have a Ramos and a Dobinson Sanchez. This Ramos card looks unbelievable, right? 81 pace, 89 defense, 87 physical. I believe that card is the one on the loading screen that's on the right side. So that's pretty exciting for a Ramos with pace. It's kind of like the same thing we, we saw this last week with the PK card, right? They gave a card that had a really low pace stat, a really nice boost, and it looks like they're doing that with Ramos this week. Dobinson Sanchez looks pretty good as well, but another Prem center back. So of course, there are some cards in here that are like, mm, Nate, that's just okay. But also there's some cards that look really good. I think Smith Rowe, Tiago Havertz will be very hyped. Marino Sissoko will be great for budget beast. Of course, Ribéry and maybe one or two other cards that we don't have leaks for yet could be added uh, today as well. This Payet card could be pretty tasty as well. Um, of course, Payet's always a FIFA fan favorite to get special cards every single year. Of course, French, Ligue 1, plenty of links to go around there with that card. So if there is a little bit of a potential that maybe, you know, somebody like, I don't know, Sissoko or Marino is not in the team that's in packs today. There could be some guys that are in the mini release per se. So just kind of keep an eye out for that and watch out for that. But these should be some of the cards that we're seeing soon. Again, a lot of focus on center backs and midfielders, a couple attackers in there. Uh, so that's gonna impact a little bit how we expect the market to move today. Because if we're getting a whole bunch of new center backs and a whole bunch of new midfielders, then maybe some of your strikers, your wingers, your outside fullbacks that there aren't as many special cards for could see a bigger rise in the market. And we'll talk about that in a second too. Now. I talk, we, we showed the uh, the Becker SBC, right? Foot Sheriff said that this is our player pick SBC. Now, last week we had Alaba on Saturday and we had that Romain Favre SBC on a Friday. Um, but Sheriff is saying that this SBC is potentially coming today with the Becker card. He was supposed to win August player of the month. We never got SBCs for that. Um, now, one of these might end up being lengthy with the right chemistry style, obviously the one with lower dribbling. He said that one of these is going to have a four-star weak foot and the other one's going to have four-star skills. Um, but, you know, the one with the pace and the dribbling looks pretty solid. But let's be honest, right? Uh, that card in this game needs to be a pretty cheap SBC if it's going to have some hype in general. He just does not have that great of links. And it looks like probably a super sub for most people, regardless uh, of the of the stats that he could be or the price that he could be released as today. So that SBC to me is semi-hype, but not super incredible. Again, I think that needs to be a pretty cheap SBC. And then Luke de Young, who we saw in those leaks as well, is supposed to be our objective player today. So that's kind of the content that we're expecting. I wouldn't really expect too much else other than that, maybe some sort of simple objective. Last week, we had the Rule Breakers rush. That was where Paulinho was. Rule Breakers breakout, of course. Maybe they'll refresh something like this. 
um, for the promo either today or sometime during the weekend as well. So again, content wise, it just it just feels okay, right? Nothing super duper crazy. Uh, and that to me makes it a bit of an interesting day for the market. What is going to happen on the market today? Because there's, I'm, I don't know if I'm really expecting a lot of panic and there's not a lot of panic right now. As we take a look at the market, some of your uh, current impacts rule breakers cards are actually, you know, actually trending up in price. I think people are investing in these rule breakers cards for a potential rise out of packs. And the rest of the market is doing fairly well. A lot of prices have rebounded even a little bit from yesterday's marquee matchups supply. Now I will say anything that is in packs today, specifically the golds, I would be very, very careful of because of that supply, right? Again, I do expect to see some sort of pretty nice pack in the store. Last week we had 50K packs. Could we see the 50K packs with that 50K pack plus, right? Where they put the extra pack inside. It's like every time you open a 50K, there's like a plus pack inside of that, you know? I think that's potential for supply today. So anything that is lower rated that will be in packs, you know, maybe a guy like, um, let's see, Ferlin Mendy, you know, a Kunde card or the even Militao 84 rated. It's not super low rated, but, you know, some of those guys that still hold some value. Renato Sanchez is an 80 rated card. Yes, there's some PSG hype today. I'd be careful with cards like that. Jota, those are the cards that are probably going to get dropped down in price again, just because that supply is going to continue to get them packed and they're gonna get, you know, people are gonna move on from those sorts of cards as well. So I'd really watch out for the supply today. The supply would also impact the brand new rule breakers coming onto the market and how their prices could be. Last week, we saw some really big price fluctuations on rule breakers because they got really low in the first hour or two. PK went up like 70K in an hour. Fakir went up like 60K. Calvin Phillips moved up. Zaha moved up. Jekyll, they like everybody in the team last week took their turn of like going down and then spiking up in the next couple of hours. So I would definitely watch out for that. But what I'm most curious about today is What's going to work on the market or how, how is the market going to move today with like panic selling? Is there going to be panic selling on maybe like some of the road to the knockout cards uh, on, on the market? Is there going to be, will there be a reason for people to sell cards would be my biggest question. And as I'm looking at the team, it's in packs. And as I look at the leaked SBC player, I'm really not seeing a reason for people to panic sell cards. Uh, at least not too much. Again, the cards that are in packs today look really good. The Ramos and the Ribery and the Tiago. There's going to be a lot of cards that people want to try, but I feel like people will wait and see what the price of that card is unless they have cards that are going to be in packs and get packed today. As I look through the rest of the market, specifically with like these Road to the Knockouts, Ones to Watch cards, Heroes, other Team of the Week items, I don't know how much panic selling we're going to see today. Like, what is the reason that people would sell other than, you know, some cool cards that are coming out that a lot of people are not going to think that they're going to pack today anyways. So if there's not a lot of panic selling, this is the only thing that I would say. If, is there, if there's not a lot of panic selling today, I think that would inhibit or I think that would make the market rise that we usually see on Friday nights a little bit less. If you think about it, right? If people are not panic selling, then there's not going to be as much pent up demand of people waiting to go out and buy cards. So that's why I would say watch the panic selling this morning if there is any um, on the market, because if there is some, then that would mean some pretty good potential flipping opportunities later today. Unless EA do something crazy, of course, you know, watch the hero cards because hero cards like to fluctuate just about every single week, um, whether it's a Hero like Rafa Marquez, who we've seen fluctuating in price a lot in the past week or so, has been really, really good to trade with. 160K right now. You know, to, you know, even some of your top tier cards, maybe some of your icons, some of your out of packs informs like Marquinhos' inform yesterday reached a brand new high of 300,000 coins. He's at 300K right now. We've got a Ramos dropping today. Could a Marquinhos like this drop down a bit and then potentially rise back later? You know, I just don't know how much panic selling we're going to see today. So keep a close eye on that. We're going to be covering that on stream, of course, uh, as we get into the day today on Friday. And of course, last week, everybody made a ton of coins on the road to the knockouts because they went up a ton right after content was released when we saw that, okay, the Rule Breakers promo is really not that fantastic. So my question is today, will the Rule Breakers from Team 1 have a big rise if the content is not that great? I mean... I think there's a little bit of potential for that, but I would say that there's a lot of people that have already been investing in these cards. As I take a look at these prices, 
PK is 240,000 coins. I mean, he was like 220K yesterday, most of the day. And 220, 230,000 coins after marquee matchups, right around there. And he's kind of just slowly risen into the early morning hours today on Friday. Calvin Phillips was in the mid 80s. He's now at 90K. Jesus Navas is probably one of the most popular cards to invest in out of this promo team. He is up like 4,000 coins. He was in the 40s yesterday. Now he's up to 53K. People are investing in him because he's like the only usable La Liga right back. I completely understand that investment. Zaha is up a little bit. I'd be careful with him and the Emil Smith row. Jekko is a cheap Serie A beast is going up a bit as a decent investment there. You've got Robert Tone, who has potential to be a, a riser out of packs. People are investing in Godfrey and Bailey. Again, I, I think there's potential for a few of these cards to rise up today. I just don't know if all of them are going to end up going up. I think it depends on how expensive the rule breakers from Team 1 are, because unlike the last two promos that we have had before rule breakers, Road to the Knockouts and Ones to Watch, rule breakers are not live cards. They're just standard, regular promo cards. And for them to go up, I think they really have to be just super hype cards that a lot of people want to fit in their team. So I do think that a few of these could go further today, but watch out for maybe a little bit of last minute panic selling and a potential opportunity to dive in some of these if the content today is just seen as average for some people on the game. Realistically, how the market's going to react today is with the brand new price of the rule breakers, are they cheap enough and is the content good enough for people to want to sell whatever they have to go out and buy a brand new Card. So that's kind of how I'm thinking about the market and how it's going to react today. Again, it's all about the panic. How much panic probably leads to how much of a bounce we're going to have. I'm probably going to be taking a look at some of the more rare cards like heroes, icons, informs, out of pack stuff. And I'm not going to be afraid to buy if I see panic because the team that we have in packs, yes, it does look good for rule breakers too, but I don't think it's like game breaking or anything like that. So that's kind of how I'm going to take it today and how I'm going to be watching the market uh, on the stream today, in my opinion. Now, a couple other things we have to talk about. SBC fodder, huge investment potential with this heading into this weekend in FIFA 23 because we have a pack code that has been added about the 87 overall max hero pack. Now remember, earlier this week, we saw the 86 max icon SBC. This, in my opinion, is going to drop either on Sunday or Monday, and it's going to be this week's version of the upgrade pack that EA is going to put out. And I think there's more hype for a hero pack. We were talking about this on stream there's more hype for a hero pack than there is for an icon pack. With the way that heroes work for chemistry this year, all the brand new heroes that are out, a max 87 rated pack, you can still get 87s like Toure, Yaya Toure, Marquisio, Cool is in there. Uh, you won't be able to pack a Kocha or Volaire, but you'll be able to pack Govu, Smolarek, Al Oarian, Park Ji Sung, Brolin, and of course, some of your other uh, heroes that were introduced in last year's game. Cordoba will be packable from that. Joe Cole, you'll be able to get. Robbie Keane. There's going to be a ton of heroes that people will want to get from doing this pack. Even though it might be a couple days away, I think it is now the time. There's no time like the present to start thinking about investing in SBC fodder because prices have started to trickle down on a few cards. With the Messi player of the month requiring an 88 squad and being at a value that's interesting enough for people to want to complete it, 89s are up, 88s are up, but 85s and 86s are actually down a little bit, right? Let's take a look at Busquets, 9.2K, of course. Yesterday, he was at like 11,000 coins. We had rewards and marquee matchup supply. Drop his price down to 8K. He's back up a little bit. With the pack supply this weekend, I'm not saying you have to buy today on Friday, but I'd watch the supply today and I'd watch the supply tomorrow on Saturday. I think it'd be a great opportunity if, if 85s go back to anywhere near like seven to 8,000 coins. I don't expect them to go to like 6K as they were in the past couple weeks. If these guys go to like 8K, I think it's a, you know, under 8K, I think it's a really good opportunity to pick up some 85s and some 86s on bid. If 84 is near 2,000 coins, great opportunity there. 86 is a price on these guys. I mean, I think I'd have to say for them, probably somewhere, let's try, let's try to find a for sure fodder card, Kevin Trapp. Um, I would say like 12 to 13 for some of the 86 rated cards. The pure fodder 
cards. Thiago Silva, 13,000 coins. He was about 11 to 12 last week, went up to 15 to 16. You know, I think that anywhere below 12K is a really solid pickup on those. I'm not expecting crazy drops. Again, you're still going to have a lot of demand for 88s and 89s. Even today with the pack supply, maybe in the first hour or maybe heading into content, you see people panic selling some of that high rated fodder. Maybe it's like a, a Harry Kane gold card that's, you know, basically 40,000 coins at the moment as 89s are very needed or gold Lewandowski is actually up a lot 61,000 coins for gold Lewandowski uh, if his card drops today that'd be a great card that you would maybe be able to trade with because people are going to get coins from doing packs today and they might go out and do that player of the month messy card and it's hard to obtain 88 89 90 rated cards to get an 88 rated squad done so i think fodder is a great investment this weekend we'll talk more about that in the coming days um, but I think that you could even trade with fodder today because of the way this messy SBC is set out and people getting that 88 rated squad done is probably the hardest one to do. So definitely watch out for fodder and especially with the supply today, great potential to make some profit there. And of course, investing with the thought in mind that that 87 max hero pack could be coming out pretty soon. Now, my general thoughts on this messy SBC, I'm tempted, I can't lie, because the dynamic image is just cold, and a center attacking mid position change is nice, still low, low, of course, and the big buzzkill here is there's no alternative positions. If he had right wing or right mid, that'd be fantastic, and I think it would give this card a lot more flexibility. Um, it is a very small upgrade. Of course, the road to the knockout is still better and has the potential to upgrade, so you saw the road to the knockout card of Messi go up yesterday as people said, nah, I'm going to go buy this card, which has the live aspect to it. Um, actually, he's kind of down right now, 1.189. Messi was up and I believe selling at like 1.25 um, 1 or 1.23 for a bit yesterday. Of course, this card can continue to go up as it has live upgrades pending for PSG's uh, progression in the Champions League. So that's kind of what happened there. Messi's gold card is like around the same price. It's up a little bit, 247,000 coins. I would expect Messi's gold card to drop today as more people complete the SBC and of course, pack supply. This guy's in packs. It's going to drop his price down a little bit more. So that Messi SBC is just interesting. A lot of people like it because it's cool. You get some packs back. You're going to be able to craft it over time, but I just don't like that there's only one position that you're able to put that card in. Now, now on the flip side of things, really great budget SBC yesterday for the Insigne card. It's out for 92 days or something like that with the foundations uh, that were released yesterday as well. Very easy to complete super sub. Italian links, uh, nice card for sure. And very meta in terms of a super sub for sure. Or if you want to run an MLS team, that's just a really easy SBC to complete. And it's out for again, like 91 days. So that's pretty interesting to see that there. And a W in my books. Um, now also... Today's a very interesting day in terms of some cards that will be upgrading. Well, one card's going to upgrade. This Odegaard is going to be the first road to the knockout upgrade. Since Arsenal played in Europa League yesterday in a makeup game against PSV and they won 1-0, this Odegaard sometime today, according to EA Sports, is going to go up to an 87. His price is already up a little bit. It's about 92 to 93,000 coins. We have that uh, Smith Row. It's going to be in the team today. So I'm interested to see, I don't know how many people have invested in this Odegaard. Could it continue to go up or will it end up going down after the upgrade? Um, the Smith Rowe being in the promo team today, I think helps this card out for sure. You know, maybe if he gets the right boost, he could go to 80 shooting, which would make his card look a lot better just from a, uh, a standpoint of looking at the face stats. So interesting movements there you know i'm a fan of selling in the hype but with the premier league hype maybe he goes up a little bit further road to the knockouts aren't crazy supplied but they are there are a lot of people that are holding them and have invested in them even last week so i'd be a little bit careful with that and also speaking of ones to watches two more cards are guaranteed their upgrades after yesterday's game Lewandowski who scored two goals and is the is in the conversation for a potential team of the week card as well Barcelona got their third win for the upgrade. So Lewandowski is going to get at least a plus one on Wednesday. And Kessie, this is the bigger one. And I got to show you guys uh, the potential dynamic of this because this card could look absolutely fantastic. This is what Kessie could look like after his upgrade. Again, these upgrades will take place on Wednesday. 
next Wednesday in the coming days. A plus two for Kessie, already one of the best midfielders in the game. I know I'm super psyched about this card. I know a lot of you guys are too. So looking forward to that, uh, of course, after the Barcelona win yesterday. Now today, there's two more cards with potential upgrades. Renato Sanchez is one of them, and his price has continually gone up. He was like 420K, 430. Oh, he's even going higher, 440 right now on the global market, not the PC, PC market, of course, um, but on the PS and Xbox market, 440K, which is one of the highest prices he has been. Of course, with the Messi being out, with the Neymar and Team of the Week, with Ramos, there is a lot of hype at the moment for PSG links. And of course, one upgrade takes this card to an 83. So if they win today, Renato is going to be a very interesting card to watch because he might get really expensive really quick. Um, of course, he will not be lengthy with an upgrade anymore, but still, in a plus three boost on this card is going to make him look super crazy. And then also, if you did the ones to watch Di Maria, Juve is playing today, and if they end up winning, that will be an upgrade for him as well. So Renato and Di Maria both have potential ones to watch upgrades on the line. But again, as I said, I'm, it's just going to be a day for me where I'm going to be looking at the market a lot. I don't know if the Becker player pick SBC would be enough content to make people want to change their teams out. As you can see, I've been trading with some icons. I traded with a lot of gold cards after the um, rewards, division rivals rewards rise. And then right now I bought a Lewandowski after he got low post game at 350 and I bought 11 uh, and bombing for 510. So I'm just kind of waiting to sell these more rare cards once they reach a slight peak. And hopefully that happens overnight today into uh, Thursday into Friday today. And then, you know, I'll have some coins ready to be trading and on the market today after 6 p.m. on Friday. But really, I'm not expecting anything super crazy to happen today. So we're just going to have to pick our spots on, on the market. And I really think today is going to begin an opportunity for a really good SPC fodder investment um, with prices dropping probably because of supply. So that's going to be the video for today. If you're excited for rule breakers, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you're excited for for, day, for today and what you think is going to happen. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate's Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.